everyone welcome back to az204 lab 4 exercise 4 okay so here is the lab scenario and so far we are done with exercise 1 exercise 2 exercise 3 and in this video we will work on the exercise 4 and here we are going to work on migrating sql data to azure cosmos db okay so let's go to the browser where we have all the instruction ready so here we are exercise 4 and task one is to create a migration project okay so in the vs code we need to open a new terminal and in the command prompt enter the following command okay dot net new console dash dash name adventure works dot migrate so we are going to create a new project in our vs code so i'll go here okay i'll just go one step back and here i'm going to put this particular command so i'm going to under adventure works i'm going to have a new project called adventure works dot migrate let me hit enter oh sorry hit enter okay so now it says done so here is our new project adventure works dot migrate okay so we are good now the next thing is at the command prompt we need to command prompt then select enter to add a, add a reference to the existing project adventure works dot model project okay so we'll copy the command as it is and we'll go back to the vs code we'll paste the command and hit enter so basically it will create a link with our model this project adventure works dot models okay so it says reference is good it's added to the project so we are good here let's go back to the browser now next thing is at the command prompt enter the following command and then select enter to add a reference to the existing adventure works dot context project okay so i'll copy this one and then i'll go back to vs code paste enter so basically we are creating references to the, our new project to the existing ones okay now let's go back here it says at the command prompt enter the following command and then select enter to switch your terminal context to the adventure works dot migrate okay now we need to switch the context okay it's done now at the command prompt enter the following command and then enter select enter to import version 2.2.6 of microsoft dot entity framework code dot sql server so basically we are going to import this particular package so i'll copy this one from here and i'll go back to the vs code let me just let me just clear actually from these things clr and i'll paste it here so this will add a new package to our project microsoft dot entity framework core dot sql server okay so it's done we are good let's go back not it says that dot net add package command will add the this particular package from newgate for more information click here okay perfect now next thing is that at the command prompt enter the following command then hit enter so again we need to install microsoft.azure.cosmosdb package i'll paste it here hit enter okay installing the package it's done very good now next thing is that we need to build our project okay just to make sure that there are no errors so let's see how it goes so i am not expecting any sort of errors at the moment so there are no warnings there are no errors so we are good here now next thing is task 2 okay so we, here we are done with the task 1 now task 2 is create a .NET class okay so in the explorer pane in the vs code expand migrate project and open the program.cs file okay program.cs file delete whatever is there and you need to add these two namespace okay so just follow me here let me just clear these things from here first I'll go to adventureworks.migrate program.cs need to delete whatever is there and we need to paste these two namespaces I'll select okay so we are done until step 4 next is we need to add one more import which is this one so that we can make use of we can access Azure Cosmos DB in our program
okay let's go back to the browser next step is that add the following code to import now we need to import one more package which is this one using microsoft dot entity framework core okay we'll copy go back to the vs code i'll paste it here controllers let's go back to the browser now add the following line of code to add using directories for the built-in namespaces okay so we need all these namespaces i'll copy and paste it here after this okay back to the browser now we need to create our program class okay so here is what we need to write some code in this particular class program so first of all we need to go and define a constant inside our class it says sql db connection string okay so we need to update here now what it says that you need to update this value with adio.net connection string okay so i'll go to the my notepad and i'll copy this one that we copied earlier so i'll go to the vs code is here i'll just update this string here connection string i'll save this one okay let me just make it bring it down so we are good so far let's go back to the browser now what is next it says that you also need to add one more connection string in our project so i'll add the string here what is happening okay so this is the another string it says cosmos db connection string let's go to the browser now it says that you need to put here your primary connection string that you fetched earlier okay so if you guys remember now here you can see in my notepad that you will find primary connection string it's here so i'll just copy this entire thing account account endpoint and everything so i'll go back to the vs code and i'll paste the value here okay perfect oh it says account endpoint equals to okay we'll see now so we are good now we need to add one more method the main method which will be async okay i'll add the method here now we'll write some code inside this particular method okay let me just go back here we need to add a start migration in the main method we need to add this particular string it will print the message on the console it says start migration okay and then we need to save the program in the vs code window terminal go and at the command prompt entity switch to your terminal context okay so now we need to switch to adventureworks.migrate i think we are already there one second let me see if i go to vs code and i think we are already here let me see how it goes yeah, it should give me an error right correct because i'm already there so if i do cd one step back and if i run this okay so here we are good we need to do one cd and then we need to run the command okay so we are good now now let's go back to the browser okay here we now we need to run the dot net build command just to make sure that there are no errors in the project so i'll just type the command here dot net and build command so just wait for this to happen Okay, it says there is one error. It is expecting semicolon. Seems like okay. Control S. Okay. Dot net build. so we are good now basically i missed one semicolon in the end of this string but now we are okay okay so kill the terminal so here we are done with the task 2 as well now task 3 is to okay so we'll we'll work on task 3 and task 4 in the next video because it will take some time okay so we'll continue in the next video Bye.